Make also, if you have time, TikTok, guys. also if you have TikTok, uh, hit my TikTok thing because I'm gonna do something on Monday. Door frame, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Please follow Azakai lads. <laughs> and damn it, Nat, don't unfollow me. Nah, it'd be hilarious if you just like, like a bunch of them come back to follow me and accidentally just unfollows me. The real dream. The real dream. Mark G, you're close to becoming a partner, right? You got a lot of followers. I thought he's already like surpassed 200 followers. No, no, Mark of G, he's been he's all, he's been streaming. A lot longer than I have. Also, make sure you follow Mark of G as well. Cool dude, he's from my.com. Support everyone that supports Conqueror's Blade, regardless of which server they come from. One day we'll have a global version. Hopefully there's a global version one day. And they will all, they will all be part of the same game. Ping, ping, ping. Bum, bum, bum. Leak things now! Leak things now! Don't say you're not going to leak things. This is the whole purpose of your job, is to leak things. Give us some monks! You'd think that, like, for the finals, for, like, the main server, they would, like, release something. I know, right? I want a video like they did last season. You'd think they'd just release some videos. Oh, yeah. I totally just want them to just drop the trailer like they did last season tournament. Yeah, I think the prediction's done, guys. So, looks like eight people have gone for Formal Hot, 12 people gone for Wildfire. We are writing the history. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it looks like the first map. Well, this one is not going to do the same thing. Hey, this is not the the final. This isn't the best of five. So not yet. Only the finals is just the best awkwardly of five. looking at each other. Carly, thanks for the follow. Welcome. So let's see the band maps. Let's see what maps have been chosen. Na, 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 na. I just, I just, I just timed out um, that. <laughs> Warford has been, um, looks like Warford has been banned wow, by Wildfire. See, former hot, I reckon, will Harbor City. Okay. So both the Cav heavy maps get banned out. Uh, yeah, Interesting. surprisingly. So Conti is one map, of course. That's Wildfire's favorite. <laughs> I wonder, or oh, Conti, double Contis. We saw a lot. We saw a lot of Contis in um, the morning SA tournaments. It was uh, pretty impressive. Interesting, hey. This will be interesting. Who's got the better gameplay for Conti? Because we know that um, Wildfire is quite good at it too. I formal hold. I haven't seen formal hold actually perform on Conti. That's yeah, neither. Oh wait, we did when they win and um, you remember when they uh, what did they do against Salia? Was that them or was that someone else? I can't a remember. Massive Salia. I will need to bring up the video. <laughs> it's been a while, and for some reason, like my memory is just really shit. Yeah, it's all good. Part of growing old. <laughs> I swear my memory sometimes. If I don't if I don't pay attention to something, I'll like totally glitch out and just not remember and I'm like, huh? What do you mean? Huh? Yeah, I'm the same. I'll just be like, what the fuck is this? What? What's this? Bravo. I'm just gonna call you Bravo. Thanks for following, man. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I should be out, but my missus is sick, so we're not going out. Rip my drinking time. Talk it. Asha, it would have been good to drink after doing my assignment that I've been working on for three weeks now. Like, probably two minutes at a time. <laughs> three weeks, two minutes at a time. How many times a day? Once. Uh, 
I look at it, I'm like, oh, yep, that's, that seems good. Cool, then. Oh, well, I'm making progress. Move I'm, on. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I'm just not made for uni anymore. Nah, it's actually just trying. It's all about trying. Yeah, I know. Oh, but I'm just so motivated, hey. Like, I said this year I might, like, rest it because it's mostly online for me right now. I hate doing online. My discipline level is, like, zero. I'm only on my third year. Well, yeah, technically my technically my second year because um, I did a dual degree at the start and then dropped to just a single one. But yes, technically, my, actually, it's my fourth year because I did you I, I did TAFE. Hey, I've actually got a certificate of something. Huh. Here I'm thinking I'm useless, but I actually got a certificate for finishing my uh, diploma. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I've actually been studying for so long now. Oh my god. No wonder I'm burnt out from studying. I studied for six years, man. Now I realize why I as a car burnt myself out. I've been doing like studying you went for too to, long. You went to primary school and high school, like everyone else, and straight to uni. I mean, like, yeah, but... that's like 12 years of education going straight into uni, and that's like another what? Five, yeah, but see, I had a 10 year, I had a 10 year gap year. <laughs> And you are saying you're burnt out? Oh my god. Mate, just imagine having a 10 year gap year, okay? And then, like, trying to relearn how to study again. <laughs> how, how to learn discipline again when you've yeah. been freed from the fetters that is called studying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I'm gonna Rest mute begin. them. Wildfire attacking first. So you guys or is can it, listen uh, to our voice. I think it's gonna be Wildfire first. Yeah. Yeah. So we got wildfire first. Quite a few berserkers, but not as many uh, not as many as expected. Two Nafan guards. Surprisingly, Ooh, no. They always stars. have two Nafan guards at least. Uh, yeah. Wildfire, but it looks like Formahod have the same amount. They have two as well. Less it's water like, rush shows, it's though, like, coming out from Formahol. It's like they've almost mimicked each other. <laughs> well, I mean, when you're the top teams, you want to bring the top units. I don't know why one of Hashin is bringing Iron Cap, so um Iron Cap Scouts. That's a yeah. weird pick to me. Hashin, what are you doing, Hashin? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just like because like even even like just regular Pike Militia or Village Watchmen could just like be in line formation and slaughter those guys. Now yeah, nowadays, you really like, have, anything below you really two have to find just... the, the flank with those. Hey. Oh yeah, no, like. Basically, in order to use Iron Cap, like, scouts, like, even remotely well, you need to do a full-on flank, or, like, again, you need to catch the enemy from surprise. You have to make sure that they don't react. If they can, if they react to the scouts, it's gone. Like, the unit's gone. The heroes could take it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the heroes could take it out. And, like, the buffs to impeding force makes even, even village watchmen be able to take out Iron Cap scouts. Yeah, true. All right, it's beginning. Here we go into the finals. God damn, why's the clean feed not working? This is the finals of the lower bracket. I hate when they do this. They turn off the clean feed um sound. Might message them real quick while you do it. Where are you? Uh, are you I mean, like when I upload it to YouTube and they had the clean feed sound on, um, it, <laughs> I got copyrighted strike for like. Um, I got a cup, a couple of copyright claims. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I didn't get a strike. Sorry, there were copyright claims because of music in the background. The high yeah. lung, the high lung music will always get caught. Don't. So, yeah, is it because of that? Um, it's of an that band. band they, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Probably they actually got a band, a band, not a band. Nah, it's pretty impressive. It's collaborational work because. Remember, Conqueror's Blade is half, like, half inspired by history and half, like, history and culture, and it does add some fantasy elements, of course. I mean, Constantinopolis is, it, even though Constantinopolis, I don't, no recollection of any, like, historical uh, naming convention, is supposed to be Constanop um, Constantinople. Yeah, they've changed some. Or, by, or Byzantium. Yeah, let's see what's, what they're going to do here. Well, Formahol's already retreated back into C. Also, yeah. on the SA to um, tournament this morning, 
Yeah. We actually saw teams fight for A and B. Like they actually really? they actually fought for A and B, and I thought that was really impressive. Yeah, it looks like Formal Hot have just not even cared about it. They just moved on. Yeah, it's pretty. It's, I'm it's surprised. Pretty standard here on a like the Asia Pacific. Uh, yeah. Tournament to just retreat back into C. The advantage you hold for like the for like A or B is very minimal. Hmm. They've only just realized now. I think that they've there's no troops there, and they've actually gone in now. Hmm. Took them a couple of. Uh, I mean, few like it's, I mean, like it, it still only took them like three or uh two like three to two to three minutes in order to get inside already. Like, Conqueror's Blade is having issues again with their stream. What is going on? Is that the internet? Or do you reckon it's the computer? Or the laptop they're using? I think using? Uh, it might be the internet. Because, uh, I don't know really. Because it doesn't seem like a processing issue. A processing issue hmm. would just drop, flame, um, drop frames. True. So A's been taken, B's about to be taken. Looks like they're starting to mount... Oh, we'll get ready for the attack for C. Broken wall still not broken though, still up, so we'll see what they'll do with that. Oh. Nice were you watching it, Mal? Yeah, the last set of matches for C in the SA tournament were magnificent. The counter pushes. Because um what happened in I think the uh, um, Templar versus Miserables, I think, is that they would get they would um, they would climb up to this uh, platform here around the C point, and yeah. then the defenders inside they they would start sending up like bombards like like Watchmen is but like a whole bunch of them. Then all of a sudden, like let's say if Former Halt decides to just sally out, they just get instantly crushed here. Yeah. That's what happened, but um, it's funny. Hey, everyone's got different. Uh, uh, different regions have different um, strategies. We all have different it, it, strategies. About, like it feels like sometimes it's like <laughs> because AP, uh, like South America, didn't experience the kind of full-on CAV meta. Yeah. That we do, and would de like definitely the team on oh, no, the teams on our side definitely are not as aggressive, mainly because like. We're, we're always we're always suspecting the risk of just getting rushed by cavalry, and I think that's yeah. just a subsequent from our like a consequence of the experience we've had with previous balances. But it's not Formal prevalent hunt. in SA. F SA has mostly infantry battles, so they fight they fight where they want to. Yeah. Formal uh, looking at um. Surprisingly, wildfire is losing the bombardment. Wildfire is actually running away. From the bombardment. Yeah, they're pretty stacked um, in that little area, and it's pretty like narrow as well. Considering that um, mortars don't exactly lose damage when they hit multiple people. Uh, Bomber Holt, I mean, Wildfire going in with Imperial Pike March, but I don't think it's going to be very effective. Ooh, actually, the flamethrowers have changed flame direction. Throwers. We've got Berserkers in the back, but Expedition Knights and Fort Russia will take care of them real quickly. Everything's on fire right now. Burn the land. I think the mainline Imperial Pikes have already been dealt with. Uh, just leftover Royal Janissaries even come in for the cleanup. Why We've does got... it look like there's less wildfire going through this? Yeah, wildfire just lost four guys. Yeah. I don't think. And they was, just uh... wasted that grape shot too because it got built and then pretty much. Did he finish building that? Yeah, the one at the top is shooting still. Yeah. If he gets anyone? Dual blade will I think go it might get destroyed though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's trying to get out now. Two grape shots here deployed by wildfire. So as they come in, they'll get shot. You have to really be careful. I'm surprised um, wildfire hasn't broken that broken wall. They just left it up. Yeah, Macario, wow. that wasn't that, that wasn't effective good by them. I don't know why they Not were so sure. rushed. I mean, yeah, it was like twelve whole minutes. plenty of time. They should have uh, at least broken that um, broken wall and then pushed it multiple angles rather than just those two. I don't know why Ryan is running away from Royal Janissaries when they're spread out like this. 
Maybe he's making them chase him. Tire Literally, around. Literally, like, because he's a short sword, you can run, you can just have them in the tower and just stack, like, just straight on fight royal janissaries and you will win. But maybe it's the heroes. Ryan does go down, so he's lost control of the berserkers. Berserkers will die without uh, support. Yeah, berserkers are, um, what, once you die, berserkers kind of become useless because you can't use their skills. Well, yeah. But they're I mean, still like, hard to kill. This is this is the thing with skills beca um, becoming more prevalent. You don't use the units for its base like stats or anything. You just use the unit because of how powerful their skills are. Wow, this cauldron up here. I was about to say that Trev was going to miss completely, but the broken wall has gone down. We're going through the broken wall now. Looks to want to go through the back. We're at a hundred and twenty unit deficit for Wildfire, the attacking team. Oh, that short, that longbow uh, did not make the jump across the the broken wall. A no. glaive, or oh, the Polak is just jumping in the middle. He's gonna die. Strangely what is enough, he doing? I don't know what they're doing. He's still but, alive, uh, actually. Former Holt is throwing like Winged Assars straight Wing into Assars. Imperial Pike March, while they're also throwing out an Imperial Pike March. This is Ooh, not good for Former Holt. I don't think the lines are holding. And no. also, since Metallators are now been deployed by that mortar, Wildfire, here comes more reinforcement. Imperial Pike, they'll march and pull, uh, push those. Um... Imperial Pike just Mortar are avoided by going up on that um, the tree line there, but more of them are coming through. Mortar Brasher down three pushed now. Out, though the Imperial Pike match has stopped. Mortar Brasher is probably just going to win in the uh, Hoke battle. Go Parabellum! I'm surprised this grape shot hasn't gone down We're yet. Pushing now through, it no, it's all well. Now it's gone down. See whether they push for that supply point or whether they just go straight into uh, C. Whoa, these uh, tundra humans coming out from C. Is C cleaned up? Yeah, it looks like C might have been cleaned up. He's come through on. Um, there's a musket in there for sure, and there we go. We've got some sh uh, swordsmen in there. There's a few of them inside C still. So it must have this just ran through. This so messy. What is, what is the strategy here? They're just going straight for the backside supply point, are they? Yeah, it's looking like it. It's trying to take away that um supply line that they have. So right now it's easy for them to just keep resupplying, but they still do they have, have that su supply point on the left. They still side. have the they supply still point in the back C. as well. Oh, they finally fixed the clean feed um sound. The surprising thing here as well is just how many units Former Holt is losing on the backside. Yeah, well, it, they were ahead in unit counts, and now it's turned around, and they're down six uh, heroes at the moment. So. Well, Former Holt's down three. Oh, whoa, a bunch of them dying for each side. I think two guys from uh, Former Holt just spawned in. Yeah. Former Holt's rushing out. I think they're just going to take back this supply point. Outnumbered right now. Well, I say that, but maybe not. Doesn't get the supply point. Battle's happening still right plenty of time. across the area. The sea guys are just still there. They're still holding on. Uh, the, most of the battle's actually here at the supply point and the broken wall. But I think uh, Wildfire is getting pushed out. Yeah, they are. They're just They're rushing to, to sea now. There. They've started uh, pushing sea. Trying to just force the Tundra Ooh, Humans through, tundra but human. you needed those Loyal Guards to push in at the same time those Tundra Humans yeah. come through. Again, like, when you're doing a flanking push, you need pressure on both sides. So, the moment they turned around like that, you would have got their side. Yeah, and also you got to give the, um, the uh, enemy units extra target to hit, because then they're, they're focused on something else. Yeah. But they've managed to push them out. Here comes well, more Loyal comes Guards, though. Guards, but it's, it's stacked incorrectly, those... Um, yeah, they're just going to get wrecked real fast. There they go. I so don't even think they killed anyone. Cap. Even the Alp Habitiers didn't go down. They're not even bothering capturing the point. They're just going to fight it. <laughs> just keep pushing. They've got so much time. Like, what, seven minutes? Seven minutes. This is, like, good for, good for wildfire because, like, we're almost hitting... We're over 150 units uh, deficit for the... Defenders now. Almost, almost 200. We're getting close. Starting to pile up. That one retreating loyal guard just stopping the cap for a few seconds. Maybe, maybe he will be um, hey, the secret MVP. 
Yeah, the, the unit that stopped it. Uh, nothing yet, just started. So first battle is uh, Wildfire attacking. Both teams have chosen Conti to attack. Even though they grabbed C, they're going heavy on the wall break. Interesting choice. Yeah, it's weird. It looks like Formahort have um are trying to defend in that area. Same as um Crusaders. Because everyone's seen it now. It works. Yeah, I know. Because everyone's seen, <laughs> seen that this is defendable, so they're trying yeah. it out themselves. Oh, it definitely it always was dependent. Like that's why I was always confused when people would just go straight to um to base. They would give up this but... entire area when you're not even getting pushed. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what Formal does here. And the worst thing is, is that like the people would leave the area, go up these stairs. Sometimes people would block the um lock them out through the door, and some people would, and like the enemy would just catch you as well yeah. when you're retreating. Formal done all right. They've started recovering by coming. I think the spear's about to go down. Here, but well, Formal we'll not being pressured. Oh, I mean, like Wildfire hasn't gone in yet, but. Formaholt's doing a forward defense, so defending only these two points should be simple enough. But when it comes down to it, it, it the unit number they really need to drag back the unit number. They have yeah. somewhat. I mean, they have they ha did. I mean, it was almost two hundred and sort of gone down more towards the hundred and fifty yeah, mark. Yeah, so they've they recovered a little bit. But you're starting to see a lot, um, quite a few low tier units, units yeah. from both them. teams. I mean. Unless they're just saving their, their units and they're just using their trash to take as much of the trash out as well. Maybe. Because I think that's Russia one thing. probably going to get a big hit in a second. I yeah. I'm st that, that mortar is still there. That's been there since, the, um, since they got A and B. Must be super annoying for wildfire players to walk through that stairs, the mor the two mortars. Oh, you're talking about this mortar up here. Yeah. It's still being used, in fact. This longbow. Used and it every, I so think they just tried to trap it. Nope, they, that was something else, don't worry. Nah, they can't... There's no position to get on top to see that um, mortar. It's really very hard to hit. It's in the center of the tower. Well, there's those so Iron looks... Cap uh, scouts. Uh, as I said before, they're just getting instantly boned. Looks like we're starting to see some of Wildfire come through down. now. But they are getting taken out here. The Jewel Blade at the back was taken out as well. Very confusing. Why are they retreating after someone just tried to push forward? Yeah. Well, here comes the yep, main push. they're pushing push. through now. I am very surprised, cameraman. You're not on the other side of this stupid wall. Man, what are you doing? Oh, that's very unfortunate. Catching Ooh, good the advance. side of There's Port Brasher as they guard. move in as well. Brasher, I, mean. I don't know why they didn't expect a fight here. I mean, why are they running mm. off still? You need to suppress. You need to suppress this pile here. Otherwise no, they're going for that supply point. They really want that supply point. Massive, probably, probably a big mistake from Wildfire just to ignore the fight on one side. Unit count starting to really even out too. It's now only about what 80, 60, 60, 70. Well, here's the question: Here, can they get the supply point before Holt stops them? And can reinforcement from Formal Holt push out Wildfire yeah, yet well, again? Yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to push through. They're, there's reinforcement from the broken wall here, but... And they've stopped the cap for that supply point as well. People have gone in already from Wildfire. They've really already gone into their right base. Now. Whoa, yeah, someone's standing on their base. Yeah. Formal Holt decides to go back to their base or continue to try to push out. Whoa, no, definitely go for the base. There's a, yeah, there's a lot. They're like... They're there with units. Close the door, close the door. Former Holt, someone close the door. Otherwise, more wildfire will come flooding through as they are. Yeah, flooding through now. So maybe, yeah, they should have probably given up that supply instead of. Uh, instead of moving out, uh, maybe. Four out. Ooh, a lot. There's a flamethrower in that group, too. Pure mass That's from gonna be wildfire annoying. right now. I don't think Former Holt's going to be able to respond. Fast enough. Hero is throwing Six. the um, lives right now just to stop this, but it's going to be too late. Wildfire so first battle first goes to um, Wildfire. Mr. Ryan. Nope, no Ryan, it's Hanshin. Hanshin gets the MVP for uh, for Wildfire. Someone actually... So, two people yeah, with yeah. Mammoth Death. R, 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 R. Yeah. R, 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 R
Narek. Narek I've seen before. They did a vein. They, they do the vein. R. I think Green Gung is a new name I haven't seen before. And Chukto. R. Barrier. Yeah. I'm not sure if Faragoon has been. Is, I've seen Watchmen before. I've seen Count. Yeah, I've seen most of the team from Wildfire before. Yeah, that's my. That's most of their uh, starters. I think Callan is the only one that I don't see, unless I've never seen him before. Callan. Nah, Cullen. The thing is, it's supposed to be Cullen Stanford. Yeah. The reason I know that is because it's a Code Geass uh, character. Oh. Oh yeah, I watched Code Geass. That was actually pretty good. I just didn't like the ending. Which one? Yeah, Wildfire won the first one. Wait, like, you mean the... No, I don't like the one? ending how he um ends up... Doesn't he end up, like... Doesn't he die? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't like when people die. That's one that's <laughs> live forever. You want a happy ending? I want a happy ending, man. There should be a, He should have been like. Just go with the conspiracy theory. He's the driver of the carriage. Oh really? Just go with the conspiracy theory ending. He's the driver. Apparently. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> that's the theory anyway. <laughs> Guys, make sure you follow uh, Azakai's uh, channel. He's the guy that's currently co-commentating with me. Um, so make sure you hit that link there we need to get him to 200 followers so he can become a content creator for next season need Thanks to do that before the new season and starts Nico plus John. too bad i can't plus. follow myself you can't follow what i can't follow myself oh yeah no you can't da, na, 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 na. Well, at least the technicians are on it this time. They showed us the times. Now we need some mid um, intermission entertainment. We would be dancing, but no one's following Azakai. <laughs> Azakai will do a dance. If he gets to 200, he'll do hot tub. Um, he'll do a hot tub stream, he said. <laughs> no, I didn't. Don't put words in my mouth. I did say, though, that like if... if um... If I ever became like full time, I would I would make costumes for each of my stream. There you go, guys. Come on, make it happen. We want costumes. Next season. Oh man, that's gonna be so hard. I'm just gonna buy it. I'm not even gonna. Tell me what you get yours from, and I'll get my my one. <laughs> I'll I'll just be like calling up a uh, designer. Can you just like give like Can you just like give me costumes every week <laughs> and I'll just wear them. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah, actually that's a good idea. Get someone to make costumes and you just give them a shout out on their uh, on the stream. That's a that's a really good idea. I just need to find someone. I don't know anyone that makes costumes though. Oh, what will be the next Morgan Grax with the Oh, except what is he was I what don't was even he trying to look hot like? Tub. No, you don't need a hot tub. You just get a bloody pool. Blow up pool and it's a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Get him, get him, guys. He uh, he only needs 165, uh, 65 more followers. Come on, let's make it happen tonight. Tonight is the night he gets 200 followers. There's literally 521 people watching right now. Surely we can find 65 new followers from this group. Please do it for me. Do it for whoever you love in life. I don't know. Do, do, do it, it for your doggo. <laughs> do it, <laughs> and I will believe in you. Whatever you want, whatever you aim to be, I'll believe in you. If you believe you you want to become a cat, I'll believe that you can become a cat. Yeah, he'll he'll dress up as a cat next time. I mean, I do have a Pikachu onesie. I can dress up. Yeah, as a so rat. do I. I got Pikachu. I got Charmander. <laughs> that would make me too good looking, Elmus. Didn't you see the bazongas on those? Nah, he doesn't need. He, he's gonna do his own. He's got. He, all you need is a uh, literally just go outside, blow up a pool, get on it. You don't even need to have a. You don't even need to heat it, man. It's like hot enough in Australia. <laughs> 
Really? When you implemented the hot tub, you you actually got like a stream of new viewers just to see that image. Wow, <laughs> sex does sell. Oh man, of course it does. You could do um, ASMRs or whatever they call. You could uh. So good. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Squats in your blow up. Nah, just um, just just write people's uh, every person that subs. You got to write their name on your body. <laughs> Six. Oh, we're about to get the um, former hall attack on Constantinople. So, okay, let's see so if we're having a the defense. They time for a reverse. Attack. See if Wildfire does a better job defending that little section after C. If they do lose C. Huh? I've been. I'm following Saria. I would have followed him naturally if he uh, streamed Conqueror's Blade more, but apparently he plays Destiny. Yeah, lame game. The most interesting thing here is Wildfire's lack of Fort of Russia. Choosing yeah, to no go Fort of Russia. more heavy on the Imperial Pikes. Yeah. Well, you don't really. Well, you you don't need that many. You only have to hold. What, well, I mean, they two... train. I mean, they probably go on. Like, they have a couple of um, loyal guards as well. The yeah. interesting thing here is Wildfire doesn't actually have that many loyal guards. Actually, only one shield user, and that's uh, Chokto. Chokto. Or Chokto? I think it's Chokto, not Chokto. Choco, Choco Lama. If I get five gifted subs, I'll write it on my butt. But you'll never see it. Oof. Now you gotta show it. You can't just get five subs <laughs> and then not. I'm sure Adriana Chechik puts it on one butt cheek for 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 ten. Actually, she's playing Resident Evil Village right now. I wonder if that's is that a scary game? Eh, I don't know. I think people fetishized it too much. Like, during the mid-game, apparently it's, it's... Well, I mean, like, it's less scary than what Resident Evil is known for. Hmm. I just don't like playing games by well myself that are scary. Oh, come on. That's the point of playing scary games. I wonder if people will watch me study. Maybe I should start doing a stream where I'm just trying to do my assignments. <laughs> Maybe but people can help me. Essentially, you just get some random lawyers being like, you're doing this wrong. This is wrong. Yeah, right. well, I mean, hey, if they can tell me how to do it right, that's... <laughs> I get a seven, that? boys. I should do that. I should just start streaming when I'm like doing my Assi assignments. Like assist Fire <laughs> studying. Oh my god, I get um academic misconduct because fucking get to uh, getting help from random people. Lol. Collusion. Yeah, pretty much. Hey Nevis, thanks for the follow. Welcome to stream. Hope you're having a good Saturday night. Drinking. Well, actually, if you're not 18, don't be drinking. It's naughty. Actually, if you're from America, you can't be drinking until you're 21. Rip. Ah, uh, that's only because, like, they believe that alcohol causes brain defects. They let you smoke, don't they? But they let you smoke. What's the difference between the free house and Imperial Restoration? Oh, yeah, okay, so... The so free house is like the player made houses, and the other one is the cohort, so the AI. And yeah, I'm in America. I'm too old though. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm old too. So yeah, We're simplify all it. Free house is player made. Imperial Restorationist is NPC. So um, it's not managed by anyone. Anyone can join the Imperial Rest um, Restorationist. With the Make sure you join a player based one. Free um, house, unless... you have to actually convince the liege of the house to let you join. So imagine the free house is a guild. That's essentially what it is. As Akai said, make it simple, and then he made it. I made more it more cool. complex. <laughs> I, start, I, start, I start adding useless details. 
Ah, uh, yes, you should be able to, but sometimes with for new players, there's a cooldown. The three-day so, like, cooldown is uh, occasional yeah, if you I leave think, on your own. Yeah, you can get kicked, but if you join um, the NPC-owned one, there is definitely a cooldown, I think. Isn't up it to seven, seven days, days for the NPC one, though? Yeah. So make a choice, you make your first choice. Um, right. Wildfire actually might do a forward defense. I'm loving yeah. this. Trying to actually defend A and B instead of like, even letting this, it go. Even if this is just posturing and they just retreat, they've already made up huge amounts of time. We've already gone down nine minutes when and on the other the, side. The main thing as well is they're making formal hot, um, use their siege. Yeah, they've already started using siege. Yeah. Uh. These are three mortars that can't be used to attack C. Which yeah. Is good. And no, you cut we'll off. Will we have a we we'll, we have a two nil win here, or do you reckon Formal Hut can do it? I think we might have a two um, two nil. I'm 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 canny into wildfire because Formal Hut, I don't know, seems to be lacking in comparison. Yeah. It, it's and it's, I really hope. If uh, for some reason, like, like, if Wildfire do go to the final, I really hope they don't do what they did bloody last night and fight. I field know, battle. right? Ooh, Losing out why? to Crusaders as hard as they did. I mean, like, uh, give it credit that Crusaders is the best. Like, we, we can say that basically the best team in yeah. Asia Pacific. But the crippling loss that Wildfire experienced was, like, unreal at times. Yeah, and it wasn't. Oh, it wasn't uh, Crusaders playing good. It was the fact that they fucked up. The I don't know what they were doing. Some of their strategies were just really strange. These Metallators are about to get hit. Are they going to go down? Ooh, get out. Oh, he almost moved out. them forward straight oh, into it. Oh, oh, oh. he ducky. ran the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, wow. That's He's risky. Just lucky. putting He's them in the corner. No trips hit him. He's just like, I'm just going to put it here in the corner. I would have like been running downstairs. <laughs> I've been so unlucky before. I mean, like, I've moved my guys straight, and they and the trip just lands right on oh, top of them. One. And I'm just like, fuck. Look at the way he moves it. He doesn't. He just moves them around to the corner. Like he yeah. he tried to move them downstairs, but they like moved around and stayed on top. Yeah. B is was getting taken just now. I probably think just a hero is touching. Taken it. again still. This supply point has got again. a pretty heavy stack. I would be so good if like one of the jewel blades jumped out and uh, used a great bombard and shot them. Ooh. Wow, here <laughs> we go. Wildfire is uh, countering Ooh, the push at those wing of just got advanced on. Berserkers in the back, though. This is the yeah. prime position. You want Berserkers. The main... The main... Um, the main threat is on in front of them, but... The Berserkers are behind them, They've, and look uh, at wiped them fall! Them. They managed to wipe them at uh, B. This is B, yeah, B. Uh, B recovery. I mean, B is literally oh, a wow. tick away. Oh. Yeah. But so They've used time. a lot of their trebs too now. I think Seven it's because I think left. Wildfire is doing a really good job because people were not ex not expecting a forward defense so so look at this they've uh they've gone okay cool we're losing it we're gonna lose b and now we're gonna go to c so they've wasted a lot of time and they've made them waste a lot of their uh their well, artillery as well been wasted the, the thing is is that i would have retreated only the b side one and kept the supply point still i would fight here fight here fight at the top of the stairs here what a rush here is in um, Fort Brasher is in prime position. In the position, Imperial yeah. Pikes are marching in the wrong direction. But now and it's been the backed by enough and guards too. Oh, but unfortunately the Berserkers may survive. They're just letting the Berserkers Ooh, uh, hold back the rear. The I think that Treb may have gotten a couple of Fort Brasher's. These just Berserkers gone will go down. It. I mean, these Fort Brasher's are great at taking out Berserkers. Longer range. Formoha did take the back supply though. Um, on the left. I think, I think that was a good catch by um, Formholt though. Looking at the unit difference, they caught up about a hundred units in that exchange. I think only, only losing the Berserkers is kind of misleading because yeah. Bers Berserkers cost quite a bit per per model. 
All right, now this is where it is. It's going to be how well Formal Hook can push C. Well, I mean, we still got 10 plus minutes. Once A gets taken, it'll be 10 plus minutes for C, so... I don't, I'm not sure whether or not they should have just kept committing for a forward defense. They were doing really well, in fact. Former Holt didn't, didn't try to go for the supply point. A push at a push at the B point. Maybe another push at the B point. They could have lost it and they lose the left-hand side and they just pushed to C. But, yeah. I, I mean, that's a what-if scenario. Maybe um, ma maybe it's because we haven't seen it happen. We don't we we don't expect guilt like, kind of. Bro, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're having a good Saturday night. Yeah, I think that Treb hit massive. Apparently, uh, what's up? Saying forty units died. Yeah, it missed quite a lot, but I think there was a lot that it also got because all the pile Pike might lose a couple. What are you oh, doing? Pushing by themselves? What are they pushing? I don't know, For they sure. were just outside and a bunch of them died. Yeah. It's like a dream one day, like, um, it's like a dual blade just going, you know, when they were pushing that supply point, just imagine just someone coming out with a, I reckon they would use all the ammo though, so they, that can't happen for the Grey Bombard. Oh, crazy yeah, not no. to use that. I mean, it only has six shots. May as well just try yeah. to use, them up, use all of them. I'm st I want to see it happen in the, during a tournament. Someone just absolutely demolishes a team because of the <laughs> great bombard shot. Look at all those units on top right now. They, they could hit if they... Uh... Nah, <laughs> that's why the great bombard like, can't Juicy. hit anything besides those two walls. And it, it's very restrictive. No, 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 they can. Not... Where it is right now. like That uh, broken part. You no, no, no. Oh, you, no way. It's so hard to get it to shoot high. Bruh, that will get- that will kill everything. I've hit a- uh, I've killed a hero who was, um, further away from there. The Great Bombard, like, unless they changed it, the radius is huge. No, 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 no. It's the variance. But it'll never- it never- well, I say never, but, like, only we're the very right it. one can gonna, has a chance we're... of shooting at this broken wall. Because- <laughs> You need. You also need like the RNG to be in your favor. Not only does it have to shoot high, also the flight path also needs to be fairly straight. These things are hey, really hard. How are you, man? How you been? Haven't seen you in ages. How's life? Are you gonna come back to Conqueror's Blade? Come back, Emmy. It's a Chinese season next season. We're all shaving our head. We're gonna become monks. I'll do it. Ow. Get me to 200 followers and I'll shave my head. <laughs> Please. Everyone follow him now. We want to <laughs> see a stream shave. Shave on stream? That means I have to buy my own shaver. Nah, I'm just kidding. Surely you got a razor somewhere? Cheap one. Not trailers. Um, It's more like pictures. Oh, we, we, picked, <laughs> we picked apart the teaser and we've we brought it down to the Tang, like, the teaser refers to, like, the Tang Dynasty so far. We've got a uh, bunch Nibius, of other teaser stuff, which are leaks. Uh, Caesar starts, I think Caesar might start on the 8th of July. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of the posters um, says it's on the 8th of July. I, I think it's going to be the week after the um, Mina finals. And the Mina, yeah. the Mina division starts tomorrow. And Why is the off-season so long? What? Why is this off season so long? It's not really. You do know it only ended last week. It ended two days ago, but like it feels like it's a long time. It's almost two That's weeks. That's because really. the last two weeks of the season just felt like it just went on forever. Yeah. This is the know. longest season we've ever experienced. Do remember, twelve weeks. Well, I mean, besides the season zero. The primary push has kicked off. We've got the former Hulk coming out from the left-hand side with Royal Janissaries. No Nafan Guards oh, on the left-hand side. Lots of Imperial Pikes. Holy Whoa, God. the Nafan Guards switched over Imperial to the left-hand side. And look at the fire! Flame Curtain burning down And on down top of that, they've got, their, uh, they've got their um, grape shots on top of the wall there just firing I, down. That Jewel Blade's managed to uh, destroy it, but oh, he might I, die for it. Yeah, Zalbai definitely going to die in that corner. Huge losses for Formal Holt. I mean, Formal Holt just lost more than 200 units. Uh, 
No, sorry. They've already lost their dis. They've already lost their advantage, and they yeah. almost hit a one um more than a hundred unit advantage just now. They're gonna have two more shots of this taking C, but um, Wildfire looks strong right now. While they need to like, I don't know why, but it feels like Formal Holt has no idea how to deal with those Nafan guards. Just dive the Nafan guards, push right you through. Yeah, you just have to hopefully get through units. It's so Especially hard to get through. Fireproof. You can, they can still march on through. The funniest thing is, is that like, um, not the funniest thing, but like Imperial Pikes, um, still um, will march, t um, will march, uh, even it when they're on fire, and it's hilarious. Because they can't be CC'd, right? Well, no, they can, but um, the fire because um, because they have the fireproof armor. The well, no, they have pillar and flame. So not only do they take less fire damage, but the the length of the CC is also very small. Mm. Although they do get stopped temporarily, um, Imperial Pikes will reset um, will restart their march very quickly. Uh, again, not dealing with these Nafan guards early is definitely going to bite them in the ass. Here comes some Tundra humans straight into uh, what I think is Halberdiers. Um, all I'm seeing is flames on the main section. Berserkers just eating right through all of the units trying to come up through the left-hand side. Tundra humans coming in the back side. Nafan guard finally destroyed. go down, but I don't think uh, Fulmerholt's got anything anything that's going to counter all of these Fort of Russia is just on attack There's a mode. lot of Fort of Russia is on auto attack right now. This is the and thing. A lot Fort of Russia Fulmerholt's has been going down. super, super good for Fulmerholt right now. Just winning out. Um, just winning out in a pitched battle like this. Former Holt is down to just seven players. Three minutes forty to go. Oh, I just, oh my god! Now, I don't think Former Holt's going to be able to recover. Wildfire could easily chase down a couple of these heroes to keep them on, um, keep them down a couple. Ah, oh, it's been more than 10 minutes, Nat. You're, you're probably not even banned anymore. Who's been banning him? Did he, ban did he <laughs> get can't. himself banned I again? I, I wanted to test out what the timeout button, and I was just like, oh, there's Nat. A good, a good old test subject. Yeah, he is a pretty good test subject for everything. Down to just farmers, in fact. From Holtz. Going to probably only oh, wow you were right you they have another attack they might get another attack in yeah they'll get one more but after that I don't the weirdest the, the, I mean, the, it's got to be per is, it's got to be perfect now <laughs> the question is is do they actually have anything significant to push out because expedition knights and uh, don't get me wrong expedition knights and prefecture guards are strong but there's Fort of Rashers, Imperial Pikes a lot of stuff that will instantly kill any of these units when it's surrounded. And not to mention, like, inferior pike units versus, like, superior pike units, like Imperial Pikes and Fort of Rashos. There's not even a contest. Like, Fort of Rashos alone, in just direct attack mode, will murder any other pike unit. And it's just a fact. It's just a fact. Nothing beats the long range of Fort of Rashos. <laughs> they have long pointy sticks. The longest of sticks. The longest of the longs. There we go. Last try. This is to be perfect. They've got to get it. Otherwise, it's all over. This Next will go to Wildfire. The Wildfire side. will get a second go at Crusaders again. But this time, the format will be different. It'll be a uh, battle of five, so... Oh, it's going to be a long... It's going to be a long night. Unfortunately, Formholt doesn't seem to have break through. Again, the quality no. of the units just going being. A lot of heroes point. have just died too. They're down to seven. Formal uh, wildfire now pushing out. Welcome, Dark Man. It's just going to be a manhunt for the last uh, minute and a bit. Congratulations to those that chose um, wildfire. Unlucky those that didn't choose wildfire. That wildfire is showing why they are super strong. Strong. Alright, when's the next battle? I mean, I do admit that Wildfire is strong, but I, I mean, like, from previous season, I thought Wildfire was only just just above Formal Hall. I didn't think they were that high. That much. I mean, no, sorry. I thought Formal Hall was higher than Wildfire last season, at least. 
but well, they were because they beat them and then they were got to the grand final. But this season looks like um, wow, big improvement, big improvement, massive big improvement from um, like, wildfire. The person who improved the most was definitely Crusaders because they're blowing the water out. Um, they're blowing second place out of the water right now. Yeah. Um, the next battle starts in in thirteen minutes. I get that. Yeah, eight thirty. Start prediction. So the next time. one will be between Crusaders and Wildfire. Well, this is the grand finals, people. We know who our top three players. We have Bomberhawk coming in third, and it will be deciding who is going to be first and who is going to be second between Crusaders and Wildfire. I mean, uh, like, honestly, my money's on Crusaders because Crusaders did beat Wildfire already. But maybe needs, to be honest, it's different. It's different. Like, we don't really have any access. I think you can buy, like, silver in in, in your um, server that you're from. In our server, we can't. So it just depends, like, what's available. Mark of G would be the best person to ask because he, he's from your server. How come on the drops page, the finals aren't till tomorrow? Yeah! I don't know. It should be today. The finals are today, right, as a guy? Yeah, finals today. Oh, okay, good. Because yeah, apparently it drops. Make sure you re uh, refresh, guys, as well. Uh, it will be Hewl and Fjord because that's the season, uh, seasonal map. Because I'm almost finished for the final bundle. I've got like eight, fourteen percent left. Because there's, the there's a different, there's, a, there's another finals, there's multiple final bundles. There's so today is the uh, AP one, tomorrow is the SA one, SA, and then there's something else. There's uh, so no, many different one, things. Like Mina is in the afternoon tomorrow. SA doesn't have. Oh wait, does have a battle in the morning, which is uh, I think the quarterfinals. I don't know why it's called the finals bundle, but I think it's because Mina only has four teams. But no, that's wrong. You definitely want to get a premium. Uh, you definitely want to get your battle pass, but don't get the battle pass now. Wait till the season starts. Um, you definitely want to get like a premium account. Other than that, like you can't pay to win the game. Like, well, you can pay to win. You can get the seasonal units. units early at the very least, and they normally yeah. end up broken. But if you like um, a tires, you know that you can buy those things, or you can buy like artillery or certain things but nothing that will sort of get you uh ahead um i know i don't know make that you was so um, strong that no one can compete with you yeah the thing is I, is that from what i heard in um, my.com you can buy silver so that could be a good thing you can buy silver you can and, buy um, doctrine you can buy doctrines and treaties in um my.com in no 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 in netties yeah he's from my.com i think so um, but yeah, in my.com you can just go for uh, for silver and then buy your armor set if you really wanted to. But honestly, you can get everything by just playing the game. Real quick, guys, I'm going to hit the ad. Thanks, guys. And make sure you go to Azakai's um, stream. I mean, I've never paid... Well, I've never really outright paid for anything so far. And I've basically already chewed through all of the content still. I play a lot, though. Yeah, you do. But I I, I will spend money when... I, I like to spend money because the game's good. But I also get lazy every now and then. And I'm just, if I want something, I'll be like, oh, I'll pay for it. I, I pay for, like... I pay for six months of premium at a time, man. Yeah, same. <laughs> at one stage, I think I paid for a year. I bought two. You can buy two of them. And then just stack them. Stack yeah, it stacks. Day by day. Stack it. I think I need to buy a new premium, actually. I think I've got only four T days left. So I'll commit for another six months on this game. Ooh, Ooh look at this. Some people are actually going for a. Let's have a look. Who we got? We got three people so far for Wildfire. Ten people gone for Crusaders. Oof. 
10 minutes uh the the polls only up for 10 minutes guys so the predictors only up for 10 minutes so it's eight minutes left so if you want to predict and use those channel points now is the best time to do it remember if you can also do me a favor get on azakai's stream and please show him some love and follow his uh his channel he is at 136 now his aim is to get to 200 we need to help him we got 500 over 500 people watching i know some of you probably watching not actually here but surely most Who's of you that actually like our content please support both of us or just support fire if Syra gets big i can always leech off himself so. now nah, go follow his um channel as well <laughs> so you can get content creator content creator i'm sorry almas also follow almas almas is great we're gonna have we're gonna have three people eventually. Almas, you better come uh, commentate with us next season. And we have Saria too. And Saria. So he keeps playing stupid. Destiny. If he stop playing like other first person shooter games, maybe we can include him. But like at this rate, I don't think he should be included. Play Destiny. Be a Destiny's child player. <laughs> All right, so we have seven minutes till the next fight. If you need a break, go get your water, get drinks or whatever. Oh, actually, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. I'll be back. Doge. Crypto's a sham. It's only as valuable as people give it value. Same with stocks. But stocks also have an intrinsic value as well. Huh? Every time you earn money, someone's losing. Yeah, exactly. It's an ex it's an exchange of basic it's an exchange of assets, but you value the assets differently. It's, it was the exact same with Zid1. Zid1 also just kept choosing the losing team. Well, two of the matches have to be on Highland Fjord. You think, you think Wildfire is just going to take it and they just need to take one other battle and they win?
I don't think we've ever seen a finals ever come down to a field battle yet. I don't think so. Yeah, because it was fucking Ungolia. Who the hell practiced Ungolia? No one practiced Ungolia. But the thing is, Volmer Holt didn't even get past didn't um didn't even get past B. That was the funniest thing. Again, no one practices attacking Angolio. The north the north side supply point makes it very how to say Ah, uh, I don't know. It forces the attackers to go north. You rarely see like a like a stack at um stacks south side to go for B. You always see just like a stack of people north side. Because you get a, you, because of the supply point there. I'm really interested in how they do this do the spawns because you know how Harbor now like capturing Harbor opens up Harbor to um to spawn on top of Harbor and. Um, capturing the supply point on the north side of Angolia lets you actually, like, spawn on the north side. It's, it's very fascinating. And it can switch. Whoever controls it, you can spawn there. Actually, in fact, I've had one battle, just one, I, where I saw, um, a team of three. It was, it was, one was a dual blade. They capped the back. They capped the north supply point while we we were attacking the um, while we were like um, attacking the C point. They spawned with um, they spawned with like cavalry behind us, and they just came right through the grate. And I was just like, "What the fuck? Where did these guys come from?" I needed. Well, the entire challenge is requiring me to do 10, so I'm just trying to do as many as I can. Oh no, I'm just going in to die. I don't care about silver. I've got how much silver? I've almost got 7k silver. I may as well buy another mercenary, but I can't buy another mercenary because I don't have any enough slots. Yeah, damn it. It's so hilarious. Keep asking the developers, open up, open up the barrack slots. I need more slots. I'm stuck at 114. Why do you do this to me? With a losing, a single arrow, or standing your, your ground. I've had, I've had you, um... Muted the entire time, Pyro. <laughs> oh, really? Don't yeah. Know. Oh, no, just you just now, because me. the sound from my game, I decided to turn off the desktop thing. Oh, okay. Because some idiot was talking, and was like, it's, it's just real, man. Don't even, don't even care. Don't even care. We are the ones telling our legend. This is Sparta. I hope next season they focus on completely reworking ranged units. But if they continue working infantry, I'm also happy with that. Let's just not get range. Range is uh. No, no, no. What I mean, like, the one thing I want them to do with range is cut their attack speed in half. Because it's way too fast. It is way too fast. Oh, to really? Fire. Yeah. But, uh, again, the compensation double their damage, their current damage. Yeah. So they still do the same DPS, but it's just like, yeah. That, this is just me. This is just me, though. That also, way... when, are they, when are they giving their giveaway? I want to win the bloody PS5. Oh, I have no 
no idea. Maybe it's automatic. Maybe when it ends. Oh, there will be a news today. release. They won't do a draw on the, on the thing, would they? I don't know. Maybe. They should. That'd be good. So I can know if I'm going to have a PS5 or not over the week. You're facing like 2,000 other people, as if you're going to get a PS5. My RNG's pretty good at the moment. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. He said he will um, do a face reveal when he reaches 200 as well. So both of these guys are going to do something. <laughs> really? I wonder if I can give you channel points. Do you um, even guys, have uh, 1 million channel points? Oh, you guys are both um, mid or me. Thanks for the follow. Hope you're having a good day. Um, so we have two people in my, that are like in my house. Um, they're both streamers, want to be streamers, and both have to reach 200. So please follow Azakai and Saria. Let me just get their freaking. Oh my god! Right One. I only two. follow Saria if he's playing Conqueror's Blade. <laughs> yeah, what a noob! What a noob! So he's these two Destiny people right now. Can you guys follow these two people so they can get to 200? And then one's going to do a face reveal and the other one's going to do a uh, butt reveal. Because he's going to put a name on... That will instantly ban my channel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you guys can uh, start moving over there, hit that follow button, that would be amazing. They need to get to 200. Both are very close, actually. <laughs> follow, 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 so they can be. So they can be. So the Azakai is only sixty-three away, guys. Sixty-three, and Saria is seventy-three away. So only ten dollars difference. Ten dollars. Ten people. Difference. Oh my god. I was surprised when Saria got yes! picked on me. Grand final time, boys! That's the most excited excited I've seen bread. Maybe he plays for Wildfire? Nah, that had an easier run, former hot. I'm sorry. What does it look like when Bread talks? It looks like it's not real. Mr. Nene, thanks for the follow, welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a good night. Wait, best of seven? Since when? What? First time I'm hearing this. Interesting. Are you serious? It's gonna be a best of seven. What the hell? Welcome, Score. Thanks for the follow. Hope you have a good night.
everyone should be having a good night as they chillax listening to our commentary um eh, commentary of the fi grand finals of the asia pacific division congress blade league hasn't started just yet so i mean should have should have had the first match soon that should be seven minutes ago the heck come on boys we got four, seven battles this is not going to take an hour this time this is going to take four hours they set aside two they set aside two so i mean seven i mean it could be a, just a four nil stomp could as long be. as someone gets the four, you win. Imagine if they um give a new map on this one. Ooh. They make you play the new map. That would be brutal for <laughs> both teams. Like, what the fuck that is this? That would be good, because you can see who the best teams are by their... Uh, who can make plans on the go. <laughs> Alfire. Do you reckon uh, Wellfire uses um, Nalfin Guards because of their name? Nah. If they, I mean... No, I don't think so. No. I don't think it's related to the unit. Oh, really? Damn. It'd be weird if it was related to the unit. Nah, no. Throwing out some ideas out of the Not unit. to mention, since Wild Flame is much closer to the Bracian Wild Flame, we just throw basically water balloons. Man, Guan Yu is really playing that Naraka game so much now. I barely see him. He's not Maybe even he commentating. He likes it. I mean, he's not even commentating right now. I don't know. Maybe it's pretty Guan lame. With... It's it's pretty much like battle. Like it's pretty much like um a battle royale. Called? I know. I've seen it. I don't know. I like. You know, games where I can do more than just wait and... I like... Sometimes I like persistent progression, sometimes I like progression in instant progression, like Battle Royales, where you're just finding the best stuff as quickly yeah. as you can. Uh, but you all start from zero somewhere. <laughs> Oh, mate, Brad, why are you mentioning uh, nations here? This is just Wildfire versus Crusaders. Should be now, honestly. Should have been 10 minutes ago. Well, uh, normally right now, it's a, there's a three-minute buffer waiting for the... T like, because the batch doesn't start until exactly yeah, two minutes, And the clean feed is three minutes behind. I don't want to see this... Guy, conquer bread, Tolkien. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Until Crusaders, if the only way Crusaders is, I reckon, is gonna be going or not even have a team is when they actually disband. <laughs> I don't think Crusaders are going to disband. They're pretty much the like. They're pretty still. They're still competent in uh, TW. I reckon two more seasons, and then everyone else, some of those guys like Wildfire, could probably take it to him. But I reckon Wildfire might take it to him tonight. As long as I don't do stupid shit again. <laughs> I don't. I don't have your confidence, Fire. I'm honestly not going for Wildfire in the slightest. I actually think that like. Besides getting the one battle on High Lung Fjord, and I'm even thinking that Crusaders might still actually uh, win at least one of them. Like, if if anything, I think Crusaders. I mean, I think it's going to be one one to one for the first two, and then Crusaders are just going to wipe the floor with the next two. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, so I'll play New World. If I ever like the combat, I, it looks crappy to me. 
You're welcome, Dark Man. I'm sorry, but like the New World, um, the New World combat does not appeal to me in the slightest. Give us a rundown what they're talking about now, Fire. Since I don't know how to do that st stupid thing that you did. Honestly, don't even know. They're just talking random shit right now, and I'm just like falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just waiting for this uh, battle because I'm more interested in the battle. Are you ready for the years? Yeah. Even Morgan looks like he's bored. You know when someone's talking a lot and you just start looking. It's because he's not wearing like... his like uh, eyes covering glasses, where it's just full on black. You can actually see Morgan's eyes, and as people yeah. say, it's like. The eyes are the window to the soul, so you can definitely see his boredom. It mainly, I can, it's mainly because these guys don't probably, probably don't play the game as much as, like, the regular players do. I do think Morgan has been trying to play the game as much as he can. I wonder what his character is, so, but, nah. That's probably why they've um, extended the off season. Because they'll be fighting, they'll be fighting um, EU and NA. Well, there have been no announcements for that. But I mean, besides that cross server announcement, which is super confusing for me. Which yeah, actually, it since it's a, nah, it's still super confusing. Like, what what is happening at eight o'clock tomorrow? Like, who who's actually participating? Like. We know I that know. we know that they didn't really Robert, name anyone. Yeah, because it's confusing. Because like we know, we think it's going to be Crusaders and Wildfire versus Crusader and Bomberhole, technically. I mean, that if I understand that correctly. Why would like Wild? Why would Crusaders attack themselves? Next season, we have to dress up as a Kai nah. for the tournament. Give me money. You can dress up as a you can dress up as a um a female dual blade. <laughs> I mean I was I was going to spend a thousand dollars to get a full suit of armor one time. <laughs> I should just make my missus jump into to uh and stream with me. Give me strength <laughs> I will give you strength. Here you go. Strength, strength, strength. I maybe I'll get maybe I'll get more followers if I get my missus to um to to stream with me as a car. Yeah, me too. Wildfire for the win. Let's go. Wildfire, wildfire. Guys, stop complaining to us about mygirl.com. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, again, like, these guys have no control over my.com. My.com can do whatever they want as long as it's within the contract. While we're waiting, I'm going to um, hit a run and out again, guys. This is the only way I make money now, so thank you. <laughs> Except the money that you get from the government. No, I don't even get that. What? You stopped working. Can't you get? Oh, wait. You have to wait. My, like, you have to wait my like missus months. earns too much. Oh, what? Yeah. Wait, you're you're also officially married. Like yeah. the government. You're like you like. No, but even if if even if you're not married, if you've been living together for a long time, um, you you got. Oh well, if you go through the de facto, if you go through the yeah. de facto thing, check yeah. That she earns too much. I'm like that's so stupid. I'm like. Poor ass right now. Now to be so fair, we don't pay husband. anything much. So. <laughs> wow, I made ten dollars on ads this uh, since. <laughs> I really need to keep pressing those things. I keep forgetting. Ten dollars of ad. You know how many times you've been streaming? You streamed like seven times this week, and yeah. only ten bucks. 
Actually, that's quite a bit, considering that like you only have like 500 guys. Oh, Alamas, thanks, man. Appreciate it, bro. The thumbs up and the hundred bytes. Oh, I think you also gave me a hundred bytes. I didn't get to see. I'm sorry. I'm such a lame. I would normally dance, but no dancing today. Dance if you want to. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna, um, yeah, now that I've finished my assignment, I'll, uh, next week I'm gonna... Make sure you guys follow my TikTok, because I'm gonna do my daily TikTok post. I'm gonna try to do a 21-day challenge where I try to, um, change my... Because right now, I'm currently 100 kilos, and I'm not supposed to be 100 kilos, because my knees... I've had really bad knees for the last two years, since I put on a lot of weight. So, I'm gonna try to like um, develop some habits where, like, I wake up, I go to gym, um, then I'll stream, and just like try to keep doing that for like 21 days straight. I'll just keep posting on my TikTok. So, oh my, wait, what is going? On? Just make it that like every time someone someone comments, like a unique person comments, you do a push up. <laughs> I'm doing a belly dance right now. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, Jazz, it's all good. Like, I know what I'm doing. It's just for a long time now, I've, uh, I stopped. Like, and, um, yeah. But, you know, if I, if I get stuck, man, I'll, I'll definitely hit you up. Thank you, though. Thanks for the offer. Ooh, they're getting things sent to them? What the hell is this? Oh wait, no way! That's right. Doesn't doesn't the um doesn't the winning team actually get a statue? Yeah. And now they're making merchandises. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm surprised they've only started making merchandise now. Well, I mean, they were a small studio, and well, not small studio, but like, well, I mean, it's still a pretty small studio, and I mean, it getting it getting as big as they are right now. I think Appreciate they're it, brother. Surprised. I think they're still surprised. Uh, man, if crypto people make merch, they should make merch. Like, some small-ass, like, crypto coins make so much merch. That's where your money is. That's why I'm going to start making my merch, too. Okay, I'm start... again, Fyro, crypto is only as worth as um, people give it value, so... No, no, but I'm just saying, like, people, they literally um, make so much merch. Yes, yes, Even because I bought one. they're investing in that crypto coin in order to make the return. The only problem is, is that a, a company already has running costs. It's very cheap to actually make a cryptocurrency. Mm, because it, has, so... it doesn't need any function. You have to remember, cryptocurrency, besides Bitcoin, doesn't um, other cryptocurrencies barely have any functionality. Oh, they didn't make it bubble heads. Oh, shit. You actually no, no, no. Have to it's build an Android it. or something, isn't it? It's a big head. I wish they would zoom in. Ew, oh, why did they like... use a Polax as a model? Polax Come on. Though. Why not a short sword? Nah, short sword's a shit. Short sword is too OP, it needs a nerf. Short sword for the win, bruh. Nerf short sword. Mark my word, it's pretty OP. So is Maul. I also hate Maul. I hate more Maul. I hate Maul worse. I mean, more. M nerf, nerf, Polax, nerf everything except for short sword. Really? Short sword you want to nerf Polax? The only reason Polax <laughs> is balanced this season is because it's got that twenty percent rune on that stupid weapon dance. They even need to nerf musket. I don't mind a nerf on just the musket black powder bomb, but other than that, I don't think they need anything else. The black powder bomb is the most annoying thing. Units. Get into Intended to have match up screen? Up. Yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be like that for clean feed. Yeah, I'm gonna um I'm gonna work on my logo again and start making merch. Cause um Streamlabs actually allows you to do that. You just use your own um your logos and people can buy. I just wanna change my um no fire. <laughs> I need uh, that was the one game I played against and it happened to be against you. <laughs> Here we go, first match. First match is happening, we got He Long Fjord. Oh, oh hi Emmy. Emmy's killing me. Oh no. I found him in the uh, Territory War battle. He's doing the thingies. 
Uh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop doing my. Thing. Let's go! Finally, that only Who's took fifty-two first, minutes. By the way. Thirty-two minutes. Twenty-two. Twenty-two minutes it took. All right, so we got Crusaders attacking first on Highlong Fjord. Massive stack on the A side. Wildfire will hold. I repeat, Wildfire will hold. <laughs> you think so? A lot of photographs here is coming up from Wildfire. Surprising to see again. Not much. Crusaders not is much not cavalry. deterred by the fact this is Highlong Fjord and brings a lot of cavalry. Yeah, and not and Northern Lance. A lot of Northern Lance actually. Just two. About, no, That's two Northern Lance, three Wing Hussars. <laughs> Human. There's around about 400 humans, I think. Yeah, 400 humans. Whoa, no Nafan guards coming out from Crusaders. This might be weird. At least one Nafan guard coming out from uh, Wildfire and two. This is so weird. Like, we have Tertials coming out from Crusaders. Like, I would expect Tertials from, like, the Defender, but from the Attacker as well. It's going to be interesting how they use these. Let's go. Final time! Who's gonna be the champion of Asia Pacific? This is only the first match. It's not up to the decider just yet. Whoa! Whoa. What? They've already given. Why did Crusaders huh? automatically win one? Did Why we miss an entire battle? Why Crusaders won Was there a default or something? Is that why? Wait, did we miss a battle? Did we. Did... Whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I'm gonna... Did we miss a battle that the. Did they did they forget to change the What? Did they change the battle? No, did we just miss a battle? Did they that they, they just forget? Oh, Apple Brackets final advantage? Are you serious? Did we forget to You're read kidding? that? The hell? So they get an automatic one uh, point. That's bullshit. That's stupid. What the hell? Why do we want to be like America? That? No, oh, apparently wait, that's the thing in America. 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 No offense, America. My, uh, you, my I'm, I'm American asking, viewers, I'm asking but... Violet right now. Violetta. Ah, I did not know that. Interesting. Good to know. Thank you for letting us know, but I think it's stupid. Yeah, that's a shit like, rule. That's just... So they have, literally only have to win three. No, but then the, then best of seven can be... The what? That doesn't make that's, sense that's for best of seven. That's a huge advantage in a best of seven, and also it could come down to a tie. It, it, like, how do you get get, get down to a tiebreaker when? It yeah, how do you tiebreak? Does that mean there's only six battles then? No, that doesn't make sense. I, oh, I'm so confused. Anyways, we'll see how this works. This is the first time I've seen it. Um, back to the. <laughs> that's your fault for going for wildfire. No that's the way. One thing wildfire what? will win. Violet also- oh my god, Violet just confirmed that yes, the last winner gets one point. You can have a check in- No way! I did not see that rule! One point yeah. advantage. That's so confusing. Yeah, I read that thing and there was nothing mentioned on there. Anyways. Let's just uh, play on. Wildfire will- will- uh... What well, file will come through, guys? Don't worry. Okay. I can understand why the rule exists. Because... Having... Because having the lower bracket... Just makes it... Just makes it harder for the comeback, though. It's just... But I guess that's a reward for having a perfect... I mean, yeah, having a perfect... You know, a perfect run? Game. I mean, perfect run. I guess I see it, but... Yeah. Same time, I'm like, eh. Anyways. Pushing through here, uh, Crusaders pushing through now. Crusaders try to push through the broken wall at the A side, but it's failed Straight by the looks of it. Push through the bridge, they're trying to block that, um, so they can't get reinforcements. They didn't even care about A, he's just gone straight for... <laughs> straight for the Metallators, with cavalry, yeah. who are on C. And cavalry can't we have touch a DC. C. Good cavalry can't DC. get up there, so those no, Metallators are fine, unless the guy, unless the... Oh no, wait, he's swinging right around to the supply point on the B side. This is we. Uh, well, See, I mean, the I'm, approach I'm is. I'm surprised he was allowed to go right through now. the whole way. Unopposed as well. 
Well, he swung back. I think he just tried to take out something else. Crusade mm -hmm. is definitely taking a lot of damage. These Metallators will have to run out of ammo sometime. And I think he's just waiting for that. Or not. He's uh, pulling back. He's coming across the bridge soon. Maybe he's going for an ultra flank move. We have roughly around about 70 unit advantage for the defenders right now. And it's slowly, in uh, slowly increasing. So this means the game is over after... Well, Crusader only needs to win three. Three. Well, Wildfire needs to win five. Five. Oh, well, I'm not sure, actually. Yeah, well, is... they I mean, like, best best of seven, so someone... The first of four. It could be the first of four. I'm surprised that these Berserkers are still alive, even through Fortabrachio and Flamethrowers, both sh and a Ballista shooting at them. Those for those Berserkers finally go down. Actually, one's still left. What the heck? You tanky little buggers, aren't ya? Tanky. That's their middle name. Ping Ping, go Pornhub! Ping Ping! These Tertials have been fired direct firing directly into this uh, Halberdier and Fortabrachio just now. Doing good work, in fact. Oh, looks like the guy retreated them out. It's like A is going to be taken here. This is fascinating strategy because Crusaders is not sticking around. They're just rotating in, um, in and out, in and out. I think it's I think it's semi-working. At the same time, they're kind of trading badly as well. Winged Asar's going to try to force their way through a loyal guard. I'm not sure if that worked out too well for them. Nah, it does not. Too many. Also, Fort of Russia in the background. I mean, in the back, Pond just stop, slaughtering stop them. Stop dying, Hub. Ooh, big Treb Here comes there. another charge. Stars. But a Treb lands good in the center. Two Trebs land, but no more than two. Wow, okay, unfortunate. So this is where... Oh, they recovered. Nice. Good recovery here by Wildfire. Two minutes left. Can they hold? Woo! Wildfire Come on, Wildfire. losing units like proud. crazy, though. Those winged stars are actually paying themselves off, if I do say so. Here comes another winged star, no and it's going no to advance. be huge. No advance this time, so... No advance, no Fort Russia's brace, and clears up, like, at least Less half than of two the minutes there. here. With Wildfire the... need to go all in now. But they don't have any units, this is the problem. There's a lot of Fort Abrashes. There's going to be a lot of them dying. Because Can the Tundra Humans of... make it in time? Here comes Tundra Humans. Oh, here comes a... Good charge, they've good charge. Again. They've stopped it again. A minute and 30 seconds. A lot of units, though. But there's a few short swords on uh, A point stopping right now. There's only one left. They need to send more people in. No, I think the Tundra that's... Humans are clearing up too many of the counter nice units right now. The and too many is heroes have died. This could them. be Dead. a point has been capped. Where are you going? No Where are you going? Why are you going for the B side? Okay, maybe it's because they have cavalry. They have to go to the B side. Five hundred. This is three minutes. Yeah, because they're, they're trying to um, they got three minutes. Okay, so you want time? That's fine. I mean, pushing through the B side, catching a cup, catching whoever this guy is. I think it's just Alp how it is. You don't get very much time from these, I mean... Two minutes, and then one minute from the... shore? Yeah, yeah, one minute from the harbour. But since they're already on the B-side, I would... You would be forced to push on the B-side. It, it, actually, this might be a good position, because... If, if, they, if the cavalry pushes right through the B-side, they just go straight to the... Um, they go straight to the harbour, capture the supply point, and come back again. Yeah. So they have four minutes with 480 units left. They can do this. I mean, Crusaders kind of lose Crusaders their. Crusaders actually um, switching over to the A side again. This yeah. is this is the problem. You waste you capture the B point, but you waste a lot of time running back and forth between the points. They're going to lose another 30 seconds at the very least before they even hit Harbor. But a couple of guys are already there. This is the final stand. If uh, if uh, Wildfire don't hold C, it is over because they won't have enough troops. So remember, 
Well, they're going to add another minute here, actually. So remember, they're not going to have the the Cavs here because they can't go down the sea. But they this can keep clearing be... up everything up top. I mean, you gotta you gotta have enough infantry to go down to sea. At the same time, you have to. It just. Come on, uh, they're actually going up the stairs. We've known from Mugun this is like the worst move you can make. Bad idea. Yeah. But that's also because Mugun didn't act. Well, I mean, Kingdom didn't actually do anything else besides push up this stairs. Maybe Crusaders are going to push up on the uh, up up on top of the sea point instead of just through these just through this one stairs through the uh, lake or whatever inlet. You got Fort Abrasios at the top, well, semi. Fort Abrasios is actually not getting well, getting hit by um, a mortar, but cheesecake. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Here comes just the normal berserkers. These are just AI. These aren't um, berserkers from Crusaders. The mass has Here arrived. Here comes the calves. Northern lands. Is Wildfire just going to all in it with the units they have at sea? I mean, yeah. they've only got 350 units. I just realized that the uh, unit disadvantage is huge in favor of Massive, Crusaders. Yeah. yeah. This is it. They're going to have to hold with whatever they have on that. They're going to have to watch for those traps. They it's running out fast, though. As, well, as Look at the of their units, units as they just can. dropping like flies. Good push here by Crusaders, though. Wildfire is struggling to, uh, to struggling hold these. to keep this corner alive. These Metallators are trying. They're trying to keep these Metallators alive, but Crusaders are coming in. One and short gonna... just got tossed off. I don't think he died. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to reinforce C now. Oh. It's impossible to reinforce C. They've got units no units left. left. This Less is than over. Units left. I, there's no, there's no way any of the respawning heroes got any units left. In fact, we just saw that a couple of them are permadeath as well. Wildfire has no chance of the, holding the base point like in this position. I think it's just going to be a win for Crusaders here. Well, Crusaders, do I 4 nil wipe or...? <laughs> First battle goes to... Crusaders. Crusaders. As I said, there's two nil no way they with can that recover. advantage. They had no units, they were down heroes, and look at the permadeath. We got one, two, three, four, five. Well, I mean, like, you saw the number. You, you had a quick look at the scoreboard. More than half of them were dead. Surprisingly, Wildfire loses at Highlong Fjord. I thought with more infantry, they could control the cavalry, but apparently that didn't happen. It did not happen. You can just see Crusaders is pretty much good at everything. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say it's probably rigged, man. They're probably using hacks, boys. They're probably using extra damage or something. They're getting extra damage buffs. Do you really reckon a Chinese uh, developer is going to let Chinese teams lose? Ooh, conspiracy. No, just... no, they're just pretty. I think they're just good guys. I'm, not... I'm just joking around with that. An FYI, I'm just joking around. So now we're gonna wait for this second round. So this time it should be wildfire. Wildfire attacking, attacking Highlong Fjord. We know the first Let's two see. are normally this well the, the special map, but it's apparently a best of seven. The weirdest thing is it's a best of seven. If you said, yeah, it's like you said. Technically, yeah, I don't understand how the this one point's gonna. <laughs> I know I'll probably get hacked and everything. Hey, I um, I'm I support Conqueror's Blade so much. Thank you. They'll never hack me. Next minute, all my my account gets deleted. No. So yeah, surprisingly, I thought Wildfire would have put up a lot better fight than, especially considering I, I've been having this thing where I think I thought Wildfire was better at infantry use, but Crusaders just showed again that, you know, 
That, that is, is good. Wrong overall. Assumption. As an overall player, uh, you know, skill level is just so much better. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Wait, what? What, what? So they're playing Hill and Fjord again, but Crusaders are attacking again. Ah! What? Hang on, I just pulled out the division finals and the cross division finals. So, real set, best of seven, map pool, blah, blah, blah. The squad from the winner's bracket starts with one point, meaning the score starts with 1-0. Okay, there we go. Attackers and defenders rules. For the first match, the squad from the winner's bracket chooses whether to attack or defend first. The sides are then switched for match two. So, wrong. Crusaders should be defending. Yeah, but this guy just said they're attacking heal few. Like, what? Okay, that's just maybe what are you doing, a miss. That's, that's maybe just a miss. Uh, that's yeah. just a miss. No, Morgan even asked. Like, was like, Morgan was like, Why don't huh? Fort is on the table since when? What? Why don't conquer? Wait. Wait, what? Why? The, why okay, elk? sorry, 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 sorry. The map pool for the best uh, for the division finals is Harbor City, Valley Fortress, Wall Fort, High Long Fjord, Angolia, and White Elk Fort, not Constantinopolis. What? Why would you take Conti out and put it with White Elk? White Elk is like I have no idea. Jesus. Okay, so the first two matches are played on High Long Fjord. The third and fourth matches, the pools follow is followed. So it changes. Does it change? Harbor City. Harbor City, Valley Fortress, Wall Fort, Highland Fjord, Angolia, and White Oak Fort. No, it doesn't change. The squad from the losers bracket chooses the map. Chooses the first map to ban. Then the blah blah blah. After this, each squad chooses which map they will act. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normal rules. Fifth and six. Chooses ban. Winners ban. After this, each squad chooses the map they want. Wait, ban, do they ban. do they ban two more maps? Yeah, I don't know, man. This is confusing. Let's just let's just watch and see what happens. What I say? Okay, so it's not a best of seven. It's the first to get to. It's first of four. It's the first of four. So there is no tie condition. So you so you can't get a tie condition, unfortunately. Wait, what? How? Why? What? There's no there's no condition for a tie. It's the first to four. Ah, oh, okay. So they just keep fighting till someone gets to four. Yeah. Exactly how like best of th best of three's win condition is getting two points. There's no tie condition. Even okay, so like even though that the winners uh, the sorry the winners bracket get an extra point, they just need to get to four first. And even if it even if like. The losers bracket could win, like theoretically could win, two yeah. more battles. Uh, since officially they play up to, they can play up to six matches. Hmm. Yeah, that's just confusing. I mean, technically, it, it it's best of seven. I, no, no, you don't. You, there's no, there's no condition to ever play a seventh match. Well, confusingly, there's, there's there's technically no condition to play a seventh match. Technically, if both teams are on three, oh wait, well, no, no they no. will. No, no, no. Yeah, it because there's already that, that one because, point. Because what would happen is that like if Crusaders win two, winning one more, they would instantly win. Yeah. While um Wildfire would need to win three, and the final battle they would need to win. So again, like again, it would only play up to six matches. Yeah. Weird. I like how some of these guys in the uh, booming uh, in the uh, dev stream are like, "High Long Fjord is impossible to defend." We've seen High Long Fjord get defended multiple times. Yeah, I mean, Britain, you did it against Mugong. Officially, it's Kingdom, but yeah, we know they're from Mugong. Morgan is actually a developer then. Well, he wasn't before, so I'm not sure. 
is he? What does he develop? Like, what, what department? Because we know Lance is uh, part of the map creation team. Don't know. Maybe... Don't know. Alright, okay. we've got the second round here. I don't know Should be Wildfire attacking. Yeah, and whatever Crusaders Morgan attacking. said about Crusaders attacking again is wrong. Well, it His should bread. be wrong. It, it, I mean... Bread. Breadman is wrong. Wrong! You're wrong! You should get a new job, because you're wrong! Yeah, Maybe we got wildfire heard. attacking. Maybe I just heard wrong. Next time I have to clean up my your ears, ears man. Clean your ears. Clean your ears. Alright, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Cavs, Cavs, Cavs. So, sort of still the same uh, unit here. On both sides. Let's see how effective they will be pushing A and B without any. Honestly, I don't think it's changed very much. Actually, Royal Janissary is coming up for Crusaders. So many Metallators. Three Metallators. We actually have some Narfine Guns now. I don't know if having three Metallators is a good idea, is it? It depends. I mean, we'll see how effective each one is. There could come a saturation point where having too many, where it's just like kind of quite useless once they start, um, once the formation starts breaking down. But I mean, like, remember when I said that I saw like an SA team with five Nafan guards? They could just swap them out, honestly. Yeah. It just means that even if they get taken out, they still have an extra one. These things can be massive, and in a proper setup, they will devastate the opposing team. That's why you also need to use some, but only two Metallators, one Nafan Guard. Tertials again! The Tertial pick is not uncommon. Uh, Tertials are, are definitely really good this season. Yeah, well, they are more effective out of the range because of the fact that they don't need a Doctrine to make them, you know, semi-okay. Pavish, you need a Doctrine to double shot for them to be decent. Yeah, that's... <sighs> This is where just like doctrine balance really kills it for me, because without double shot, it's actually uh, pavis are like balanced, like super balanced. But with double shot, it's completely broken. Surprisingly, a massive stack on the B side. They decide to break down the wall with just heroes. Crusaders do spot this. Down goes the Caltrops, one of the most annoying uh, hero abilities you ever can face, besides just getting knocked down constantly. Caltrops 50% slow is uh, obnoxious. Imagine if the Caltrops slow stacked. That would drive me insane. Oh, doesn't it? I thought it, it So it's just one, per, one target? Huh? Oh, no, I mean, the slow, the slow is applied as like a unique slow so oh, okay. you can get slowed by other things but you can't get yeah. slowed by multiple caltrops you can okay. get actually slowed by different caltrops of different levels which is also funny yeah oh look at that a polax is he doing well that look like it I don't know. It's just a, I just see a Polax from uh, Crusaders there. Crusaders use Polax, guys. means that they're good. <laughs> Polax is... Uh, I mean, it's good for this season, I guess. So we're starting to gain some... Uh... Whoa! Ooh, for a second there, I thought of Alessa just smacked a guy, but it was just one of the um, Vodorashos. Sometimes when you see flames just firing in weird directions, you're like, what the hell's going on there? Vortebrasha is just trying to walk through here. They're just letting, just walking by one berserker. You're not even worth it. Here we go, push here from wildfire, let's see if... But taking a lot really... of shots here. They're not yeah. seeing too much resistance, but I've definitely taken a lot of damage. These Metallators are in a nice position. The um, wildfire can't see where they're coming from, and the hits are coming in hard. They burned down these palace guards holding the point. I 
think they will get A here. Let's see. Yeah, there's not oh, much. Oh, here comes some world guards, but no one's really. They're, yeah, they're, they're not. Oh, there we go. He's like finally the pushed these. guards can't really have your Portobrasio just face them head on like this. But you do have the flamethrowers. The flamethrowers are burning down the shield maidens as we speak. A point still getting grabbed. The loyal guards haven't pushed pushed up just enough to touch it yet. There's a lot of heroes already towards C. It looks like they didn't. They weren't really planning to do much with no. A and B. Doesn't look like it. But honestly, I I don't believe that Crusaders did a bad job. Looking at the unit counts. Unit count. Hundred and forty ish. Maybe. Maybe that's their plan. Just to, uh, that's why they have Falconetti's, three Falconetti's, because they probably were like, yeah, let's just uh, keep them there and just shoot as much as we can. <laughs> just shoot. Just shoot the pile of infantry, because I think they want to wear down Wildfire. They expect Wildfire to stack really heavily. Yeah. So they present some cannon fodder, and then they all stack up to kill that cannon fodder, but they, they get shot by Metallators. So, definitely wearing down the enemy. They're going to probably use as much of the map as they can. I think C point, they will do a hard, they'll do a hard hold. Like a hard yeah, point definitely. to C point. Because that, that cliff is excellent to just shoot directly down at a pile of infantry. Especially yeah, at the C especially point. Especially three Falconetti shooting down, that's going to be annoying. No doubt, no doubt. Wildfire actually approaching from both the right-hand side and the left-hand side. Or maybe not. Hashin and Thing get pulled off. They do spot the Loyal Guard blocking. I do... I think maybe a Fort Brasio. Not a Loyal Guard. So we're gonna have about wow, they seven even have Metallators here up on the ledge on the... Um, yeah, they're, on the they're, right -hand really, side. they're really trying to... They're maximizing the Metallators. This is a good strategy. They can't get the harbor. They can't go to sea. Wow, did they over rotate? That's my question. Nah, I don't think they over rotated. I think they got just enough in order to challenge whatever. Metallators need to be firing. Here they come. First volley. Here comes oh, well. Cavs. Here comes. Actually, the shots are not coming in as clean as I thought they would. Wildfire still holding. The Nafan guards at the front will definitely burn down. Here comes. Uh, Wing to start charge. No, so... Doesn't get all the way through. Nice Imperial Pike walk. Imperial Pike marches on. But the Nafan guards do get hit a little bit. I think four of them... No, three of them went down? No, just two. Wow. Crusaders just diving on the back line. Taking out the Metallators. Wow, Heroes, these four spears, the spears are going in hard. Spears all trying to like, kill as many, but one of them goes down. The front line at Wildfire is losing here on the harbor. I think Crusaders need to be Wildfire careful about how many tr um, how many heroes they throw in. Yeah. Pushing out now, Crusaders, chasing down the heroes that have left been left behind here. They're trying to take as many of these heroes down as they can with. Wildfire having seven people down now. The rest of them are getting hunted. The uh, haven't left. So the resetting again here at um, the shore. Let's see what uh, Wildfire does. Whether they keep pushing uh, for that. Well, that's the thing. That. You, you take the supply point here on the left hand side. You may as well. You have to spawn with the unit you want. You want to go for the right hand side. Going for the left hand side is way riskier. Not to mention it's more optimal to actually just smash the attackers. Yeah. This is what happens when your whole team gets paid. Oh, and they're all better players. <laughs> Falcon Lady shooting they try down these, to do uh, some mortars. watering, but they just sally out. They're gonna just kill the mortars. Wing to Sars going upstairs. Actually, oh wait, no. There's a fort of Rashio in the middle of that. What am I? What am I seeing? Destroyed. Gets destroyed. 
I mean, find, like, did they get baited or they didn't see the full rusher C. like I did? They're actually on the C point. Crusader's yeah. not holding as strong as I think this Crusader's doing? They're, like, pushing down the... There we but go. they're not pushing they're down at the... There's not even any fucking Eddie shooting at C right now. Interesting. I they're mean, like, Eddie could shoot directly at C. Oh, oh, they're coming huge, up the stairs. Um, like, there's a huge uh, unit. Now, Crusaders coming up the stairs here. Yeah. I think Crusaders are just going to lose their how it is. So this is this a good... is this a ball drop here? Are they just going to drop the ball right now? Catching a lot of lot of just cannon. I mean, a lot of fodder right now. Can they just move straight up? Up those stairs, take the base point. Crusaders all retreating to the backside supply point. You change to a far away camera, thanks. Oh no, here comes some Ooh, cavalry, but it doesn't seem to be very embraced. effective. And here comes a lot of Falcon Eddie shots here. They need to just start spreading out and clog up those holes. Only two ways for the um, Crusaders to come in. Wow, actually, Wildfire is still doing an amazing job here, but Tundra Humans just sweep right through and Alpha I don't think they finished them off. I think, oof, I think Wildfire just letting their units go into attack mode. Probably a little bit of a mistake, but they're getting shot to pieces by the Metallators, so I'm not surprised. Again with the normal humans. What are people? Why are people picking the normal humans? I need to know the secret. <laughs> They're more expensive than tundra humans, so unfortunately the metallators. They must have. Uh, there must have been a buff that we missed. Maybe the metallators doing absolute work. All the Fort Rushers are now dead. Uh, Wildfire has three minutes. Has three minutes. Been they pushed have out. Units. They're gonna get one more chance to set up and push here. The next push is going to have to be very perfect, especially with they've only got 350 units left. You're going to assume that a lot of these units are going to be low tier units as well. Well, I mean, Crusaders so. are also running um, running with low tier units right now. The funniest thing is, is that like, um, is the Berserkers at the harbor won't won't go towards uh, the base point. If only it w if only it would, that would be a good advantage for Wildfire, but unfortunately not. Not today. We're not going to see those berserkers, AI berserkers, move towards uh, base point. I was saying those are cultillers, not normal humans. Oh, my mistake then. Oh wait, yeah, no, that's probably it. that's probably correct because the cultillers' um, elite attire makes them look like they're human. Holy shit! Here we go. Final push here from Wildfire. This is going to have to be perfect. Can they push through to get? to get one on a uh, Crusaders, or will this be a 3-0 um, result after this battle? We'll see in a minute. Three minutes to go. Wildfire still has a chance. They just need to push everyone off that supply point. And we know a lot of them are ranged, so it could come down to just a hero battle. Doesn't look like they have anything significant besides this one Berserker. This one Berserker. Oh, wait, no. We've got also a Imperial Pike. Imperial Pike and that one Berserker is probably going to be the key to winning this uh, battle. You need to use those Berserkers as optimally as you can. How annoying though with Falconetti shooting at you. You got, and uh, you got Falconetti got shooting at you. Four traps left only as well. shooting at you. You got this silly longbow shooting at you. Yeah. Definitely Crusaders are not letting Wildfire have um, ease of mind. This mental pressure. Just shooting directly at nothing. But... Keeping them away from this, uh, keeping them away from this pathway, is all it takes to funnel your enemy into a position where it could be disadvantageous. Disadvantageous. Two minutes left. Here we go. You're gonna have to do it. So a lot of them are dying. Four down. I don't think. I think a lot of them. I think two of them were already dead. No falcons. Nerf Crusaders. The Crusaders Nerf need a bloody. Nerf Crusaders, yeah. 
They have to play with 14 players instead of 15. Yeah. That should be the when the you know when you become a champion, that's your disadvantage for season for the next <laughs> season. <laughs> 14 man team only, sorry. <laughs> These Expedition Knights are going to be probably the hardest things for them to take out. But lots of... Pike Militia moves off! Why'd you move off? You got stun on Brace! Not in Brace either. To. This is bad. These Expedition Knights are still alive! Tundra Humans now in the back as well. Grape Shots as... Same looking good. Well fired. This is it. It's over. Yeah, that's it. Five, Two. ten heroes dead. Five left. 130 units. Those Berserkers... Maybe doing work. They finished off a Metallator, but it's little, too little too late. The Metallators have already done their job. So it looks like this will uh, be 3 0. Will it go 4 0, or will uh, Crusaders lose oh, one? It man. seems like Crusaders I thought, I thought, I thought really I would take a point here, but yeah. I'm thinking it's just going to be 4 0. I think it's Crusaders just be really turn Crusader up now. during uh, the finals. They did this uh, last season as well. All good, all good Nike. You're just seeing the manhunt for now. I wonder if NA, NA and EU are watching these fights, because uh, they're going to be shitting themselves watching Crusaders. <laughs> well, I mean, some NA guys are, but after... It's hard to tell skill when it's just a stomp like this. Well, I say stomp, but... Wildfire did put up a fight. It's just that Crusader wore them down so much. I could just feel the attrition as Wildfire just slug it up through Highlong Fjord. I mean, that's one of the most brutal Highlong Fjord's defenses I've ever seen, where it just felt like the defenders were always at an advantage. Just never like, uh, never looked like Wildfire had any any win in that one. It didn't look like Wild, didn't look like Wildfire Even got when, like a straight win where it's just like yeah, Crusaders yeah. lost. It always just felt like um, every win they got, it was handed to them by Crusaders. Yeah, it was like they were being just like herded. It's like here you go. Yes, yes, Total come, control. come into our trap. This is where we just murder everyone. Holy crap. Their rep is in the making right now. They are like undisputed champions. They're going to be legends. Seasons. This is Is this going to be the 5th season? Undisputed champions for 5 seasons, I say. And it's just going to get I mean, the gap is just so wide so wide and not to mention crusaders got so good that they now probably can compete with the net ease teams and we we know that the net ease teams are just just ahead of us just slightly because of population but crusaders could could definitely compete with the net ease team i wonder if i wonder if we get to see some net ease team in the cross server Well, here we go. They finally get to the ban and pick. If Crusaders choose White Elk Ford, I'm going to go bonkers. Just like, what? I'm actually, Conti, I actually want to see a tournament level White Elk Ford. Ah, oh, wait. Conti is still on the table? Maybe the rules were written wrong. Warfort gone. Constantopolis gone. Warfort gone. So Crusaders don't like Constantopolis, of course. Where we attacking at Crusaders? Where we attacking at Wildfire? Harbor City. That going on Harbor City. Harbor City. Yeah. yeah Harbor City. Too easy to predict there. And Wildfire will go through Heelong Fjord. Really? Yep. Knew it. 
Yeah, but they just lost on that. Oh, so wow. I don't know how confident they were going to be. But I feel like Crusaders will win Harbour City and we won't even get to <laughs> yeah, we, might not even, we might not even get to High Long Field. Crusaders could just win it on Harbour City. Actually, shouldn't isn't the... Oh, wait, no. Wildfire gets to choose if they attack first or if they defend first. We'll get to know in a minute, but honestly, it might be uh, a tall order to ask Wildfire to just win all four of the next matches. Never know. They might turn it around. You've, we've seen comebacks in other, you know, sports, so... Uh, welcome, Linda Guara. Thanks for the follow. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. <laughs> six man team, really? <laughs> I don't. E I don't even think anyone could win with a six man team, unless you're. Like even we could win against them with six man team. Surely, next minute <laughs> gets defeated. The six man. They're just laughing at our corpse while just uh, spamming, you are too weak, you are too weak. Yeah. Teabag, teabag. Oh good, Nico-chan! What if you get eventually bored winning? Nah, you get free prizes, man. Have you seen the prizes? Yeah, but they get paid by their millionaire boss, so what's the point of those prizes? Huh? Just imagine if this thing gets big and you're like the champions of Conqueror's Blade. The title alone is already like a e super ego boost. And the rewards on top is just juicy. If you like the game as well. Come on, boys, give us some teasers. I want to see some units. I want to see some features. Oh, imagine if they um they did American rules where it's only T4 units. That would send Jerkin. Crusaders through a loop, but I think they'd still win. Crusaders should be allowed only tier threes. I don't know, man. When I uh, when I string together five wins in a row in a siege, I'm not hoping I'll lose the sixth one. <laughs> I do. You want to challenge sometimes. Rima you're just wants to. You Rima, want Rima just wants to win everything. He doesn't care if he wins against serfs or not. I mean, like <laughs> I always love a good um, surf rush where they just feed you your kills. Uh, yeah, I just think the enemy team's uh, idiot for doing it, but thanks for the kills anyway, as I murder their serves. Pro tip, guys, always go look for t uh, easy kills. <laughs> MVP tip. How to get MVP in Siege. Avoid all the hard fights, take all the easy ones. <laughs> always go for flanks, never fight straight. 
Meanwhile, I just go for all the hardest things possible. And this is why Walk I, I right get... into the enemy push when there's like this is why I get 15 told I'm an of them average player ready for you. So I get told I'm an average player, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. Someone, yeah, someone's got to take the front fight. There's no such thing as a distraction if there's no one to distract. Every everyone can't flank. You can't like ev everyone <laughs> can't be the flanker. Oh, uh, looks like it's Harbor City. So they la so they're defending first. I, I mean, mean Wildfire well, is... has had solid defenses for Harbor City, but yeah, well, we thought they were going to be solid, and then we saw what happened when they defended against Crusaders. Crusaders made it look easy. Crusader makes everything look easy. Let's just be honest. Crusader just makes everything look easy. Did they get like an extra buff or something like that we don't know? Because it feels like they just overpower. They're so overpowered, it feels like they have extra stats. Yeah. So like things that we haven't unlocked that we've totally forgotten, they just they just they just know all of it. Nah, they're just in tuned with one another. They're an actual hive mind. Next minute we find out they're an actual esports team. At this rate they're becoming one. I mean I wouldn't be surprised, uh we know that, like, probably Crusaders has, has a millionaire boss that probably goes, you are now going to become the best Conqueror's Blade players ever. You will play this game 24-7. He probably uh, has a, he probably has them all in the same house, pays them a weekly allow, or pay, and they just play the game every day. Well, that's how you become an esports player. I mean, like, that's how you become a professional anything. You just do it every day. Yeah. You do it every day until it destroys your body. I can't imagine how many people got carpal tunnel syndrome. Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Will this be the final battle, or will we have wildfire defend and continue to their feet to the fourth battle? Well, let's see what kind of strategy they go for. Could be the treb strategy again, or it could just be just take out the siege towers, get enough time. And Maybe might... hold A this time. Maybe they're gonna change to that. Well, they brought a couple of cavalry, so they're not dis like they're not um, completely ruling out the battle on the ground. Now, nah, there's not enough people that to pay players, so it's more about finding people that would pay you rather than being good at the game. Alator is being deployed. Surprisingly, the... Um... I think the siege towers are going to get destroyed. Once destroyed. Down goes the left side siege tower. Where are these fucking enemies shooting from? It feels like they're shooting from like point blank or something. I can't see because the map's so bloody far away. Nah, it's just the draw distance was really far away, so I couldn't see the um, beginning smoke trails. I could only see the cannons yeah. mid flight. So, we might make one at that moment. Nah, it looks like it's on fire. I don't think. Wildfire is going to give up the Siege Towers that easily. Right hand side Siege Tower does go down finally. Or it went down a while back and I just did Yeah, it, it went so. down a while back. That... Okay, this middle Siege Tower might actually get up. Yep, it got up. So we're going to see one up, but is that them just letting them attack one direction only? Well, it's a good sandwich point, I would think. The middle siege tower is probably the best siege tower to just let the enemy come up on. Nice hold by the palace guards, but the counterattack has not begun. The Al Palpadeers are done on brace is annoying the Shvajivas out of these palace guards. Ooh. Crusaders just rush Ooh, Crusaders A, no defenders. Up. I think no they defenders, just let yeah. them grab it. 
What is going on? All right. I mean, this time they didn't defend. This time they didn't defend A at all. They've lost the palace gods on the left hand side. Left hand side is going to get pushed, or maybe they just wanted the kills. I mean, it's not bad. They didn't even lose very much. Yeah, I haven't lost much, and there's a lot of time. Here's another question. Right side or left side? Where are you going? Does go left. There's a lot of them going Crusaders, left. Yeah, Crusaders definitely want to contest left-hand side. Wildfire, like you need to get your asses over here. Oof. Here comes some... Uh... You see, just avoiding the fights until it's too late, because now you're fighting on the left side supply point. If you lose Ballista. the left side supply point, you can't resupply. Fenris? There's a Fenris pack in there? Yeah, he sent them in. Right hand side gets it for free for only sacrificing a Fenris. This might be a three-dimensional move right here. That's how you do a distraction. Yeah. Crusaders lost basically nothing and got the right hand side. We're so good at rotating, hey. That that were that ro rotation was amazing. The main battle a main battle hasn't even happened yet. Happened yet? No. So uh, we're gonna go here. Psych. We're going the other way again. Psych. This would be really frustrating as a defender. A lot of movements. They like to move. This definitely. We've seen this before from um, the last Crusader attack. before because former Hall also did a um, forward defense, and they get shelled here. They were forced to attack. Yeah, they tried to um, flank them here, but then question, they started getting pushed. Question is, is whether or not Wildfire will attack to destroy those mortars, or sit back and get hit. I think I think they're sitting back for now. Nothing's been hit so far. May speak too soon now. Those those shots are coming in wide. Some of them going pretty far. Not to mention the rate of accuracy is not bad. Ooh, those metallators actually doing amazing. Taking out three mortars now. This is good. This is good. Discipline from Wildfire. Not um, not the same when we saw Former Holt do the same thing. Instead, they just tried to dislodge them with sheer force. And look how that turned out. There's some expedition Imperial knights trying to make the, actually the left coming side. out for Wildfire. I'm amazed. I'm amazed when Imperial Spear Guards come out. You'd always think you'd always think it's going to always be loyal guards or shield maidens, but imperial spear guards actually come out. Yeah. Wow, this might be a awful move for Crusaders. Are they going up through the center? Why go up through the center? This treb might get one good hit in. Ooh, one good hit does Almost. go in. I think the uh, partial hit. There were two partial hits and uh, two misses. Good discipline from Wildfire. Not moving and not getting hit too often. Or maybe it's just Crusaders just being slightly more inaccurate. Crusaders so looks like they're gathering up on the middle then. They're going to try to push that left supply again. They're trying to... Could be a massive switcheroo rotation. Middle section is. is charging in. Left-hand side is moving up. They've uh, tried to take them over, and then they've um, sent people through the middle still. Posturing like that just instantly gets trebbed and metallotored. Expedition Knights just tanking in advance. An advance from Two advance, in fact. 100 human going to charge straight into pike heads. They didn't see the pikes. Middle section is getting cleaned up. Wildfire can win it on that side. 
does look like they are winning it on that side. But the left-hand side battle does not look too well. But here comes a massive flank. Hushin. Wingsars in the back. Let's go. Why? No. No. What? Ah. I really wish. <laughs> Hushin gets a kill. I. There was such a good Wingsar coming in. And we didn't get to see it. Instead, we get to see some rando uh, flank with Tiger humans. Heroes are just going to fight Tundra humans. There's nothing too interesting about this. I mean, like, uh... Yeah, stupid cameraman. Cameraman don't like action. Man, I would fire that cameraman. Now we never get to see how well, how good that flank by Hashin was. Another Treb does look like it's going to hit um, those Imperial Pikes a couple of times. Mostly misses, though. Advantage this, here, though. Good. This, this, that was good. But the only problem now is that Wildfire will not recover as fast as Crusaders, because they have to deal with the Tundra humans at the very end. The recovery is going to be slow. He comes up. They're not in position. Now, and then on, yeah, they're not in position now to, to hold that little area. These shield maidens are by themselves. Actually, Fort Russia right behind them. Oh, the Imperial Pike do does breach through that line, but. Here comes a Tundra human from the middle, coming up towards the Tertials, coming around right now. Unfortunately, this is going to be massive. Tundra human just forces their way through, right through the front line. Wildfire losing units like crazy. I just watched 100 units just die from out from Wildfire. Winged Asar is going to try to force their way through the front, but well, Imperial Pike March the stops them. The Tertials in the back didn't get finished off, surprisingly. Not the second good. swipe coming in. Their own Wingsar's going Ooh, straight through, but Halberdiers stop them. The Halberdiers pretty... at the very end of that line stopping the Wingsar's. That is always the weirdest interaction I've ever seen. You've seen it here now, folks. That it is a fact that normal Halberdiers on bottom line beats charging Hussars. Wing Hussars, yeah, we charging tested it Wing as well. Hussars. We have some Crusaders on the point already. It's going to be a slow march of reinforcements from Wildfire. We got a lot of heroes, but not going all in just yet. Talator's firing, trying to grape shot being deployed. If they treb move forward, deployed. this uh, Fort of Russia might eat a treb in a second. It's gonna eat the treb now. Oh, just in time. Nice! Pushes forward yet again, dodging the trip completely. Wildfire fighting hard here. They know this is their last chance to... They have to win four a... battles in a row. That's going to be super exhausting. But definitely not giving up. I love the... Um, I love the fact that they're still fighting. Still fighting hard, in fact. Six minutes may be a long time, but you also have to remember that the reinforcement will will be slow because of how far both teams will have to travel. All wildfire needs to all wildfire needs to do is make sure they destroy the primary attacking force because they will resupply faster than the enemy. Crusader is going straight for that supply um, supply point on the left hand side with a couple of tundra humans. Reinforcements also moving around. Wildfire getting caught out in several positions. But this left side supply point gets capped. That means Wildfire will have to defend with whatever units they have. And it's going to be a two-way. They have one treb left from... that. Take that back. All Zero trebs have been used from Crusaders. 598 versus 500. 100 humans just slaughtering village watchmen. This is not a good sign. You can't you can't lose units to something like this, especially since 100 humans just get harder to deal oh, with. Oh, a lot of one fire going down. There's only seven of them left. No There's way to reinforce the units. Swarm of crusaders pushing. I think that's it. I think Harbor City is taking. Yeah, I think this is going to be GG. Unless these uh, short, these two last sword swords are going to hold out one Tifa, 
And they gone. Two left. And they just spawned in. I don't even think they're going to reach the base point in time. It's like Crusaders do it again. For a third time in a row. I wouldn't... Uh, I'm not going to say it was a surprise, but I congratulate Wildfire for their effort. Regardless of uh, how it may look or how I uh... sound, I do like the tournament. It shows off a higher level that you never get to see in a siege. And I'm, I was proud to also be a part of it, although we lost. But I think that's it. Crusaders win. Take the championship. They are the sons of Fenris. The sons of uh, Ragnarok. The wolves sons Ragnarok? of Ragnarok, sons of Zeus, the sons of everyone. <laughs> the way they, play. they are the champions. Actually, two of them, three of them actually permadeath that the uh, at some point. That's surprising. I didn't even realize that. Unlucky on her. The didn't... fact that the fact that three of Crusaders players permadeath, while only two players out of Wildfire permadeath, does mean that Crusaders was pressured at some point. Although. They didn't win. Wildfire, congratulations. You are second runner-up, with former Holt coming third and Hot being fourth. That is all for the Asia Division Tournament. I don't think there's anything left. No. Well, thanks for everyone joining in for uh, the stream. I'm just going to close it off. We'll probably I'll probably stick on with Viro's stream for a little bit for a chat. But otherwise, uh, that is all. And... My name's Azuka. Have a nice day.